This is BAP, a town in the south of Sierra Leone, home to around 300 people. Until recently, people here produced barely enough food to survive. But in BAP, that's all changing, thanks to a program run by the Methodist Church of Sierra Leone, a partner of Christian Aid. I'm Mike Byrne, a Christian Aid supporter from South London, and I travelled to BAP to see this work in action. With me on the trip were two other supporters, Klinos Roberts from North Wales and Peter Murray from North East England. Our journey started on a boat, crossing the river to see farmland that's been brought back into cultivation for the first time in 30 years, growing rice. This is the WAP field, okay. cultivated for 25 members, household members, and this is a 30 acre plot. 30 acres? Yes, for this group. Okay. How was your life before this project started? We were told that the land used to be farmed by European companies, but had fallen into disuse. In later years, Sierra Leone was torn apart by the Civil War. Now, with help from the Methodist Church, this first group from BAP has been provided with the simple tools and seed. It's a hoe. Uh, it's pretty sharp. It's not what I'd use in the garden back home. The seeds that you see growing now, when they've germinated, will be put into, into store. And next year, not only will, they, will this group be able to uh, use that seed for its work, but actually they're already talking about getting another group together and then increasing the yield and increasing the benefit. One of the really exciting things about Christian Aid's partner, the Methodist Church's activities, is that they've encourage the, the local people to set up what are called village development committees. And those committees are representative of the local people. In BAP, the Village Development Committee, better known as the VDC, has already made significant achievements. Its first task was to tackle the problem of the town school, which was badly overcrowded and housed in a building with a leaking roof. With the support of the head of the town, the VDC lobbied public works officials for a new school. The VDC didn't waste any time moving on to its next project, the construction of an agricultural work centre for the town and surrounding area. But with construction at this early stage, it was difficult to imagine what it would be like in action. Fortunately, our hosts had thought of that. We've come to a village near BAP to an agricultural business centre, that's what they call an ABC, which is now up and running. And what's very exciting about this is this is just how we would expect the ABC at BAP to be in a few months' time when it's all working. How long would it have taken you to grate all that cassava by hand? <laughs> Turning cassava into gari, a versatile kind of flour, makes a lot of sense given that the group will get a much better price for gari than they will for raw cassava. You've been successful in lobbying in BAP for one of these centres. Has that given you new confidence to lobby in the future for more services? Mm. 